first of all, I would like to explain that this prize is awarded by students from the Teachers Award Committee each year. It is a big thank you for all the teachers for their efforts and especially for the best teacher of the year. And he's standing right next to me, Serge Lemay. Congratulations on winning this education award. Hey, thank you very much. Can you tell me what it is that you teach? Uh, well, at bachelor level, I teach signal analysis, which is a, a rather mathematical topic, but uh, with also a lot of applications. And at master's level, I teach more fundamental things like biophysics and soft matter physics. And did you also study one of those two yourself? Actually not. I studied electrical engineering. I went to, to do a PhD in solid state physics, then did eventually biophysics and soft matter physics. And now I'm back doing electrical engineering, more or less. Okay. And where did you perform these studies? Uh, in Canada, where I'm from, at the University of Waterloo, which is actually one of our sister organizations nowadays <laughs> uh, here at Twente. And what do you think makes you special as a teacher? I ask myself the same question. Uh, I, don't th I think that there are many, many very talented teachers at this university. I think lots of people care a lot about the students. Uh, in my particular case, I think students at some level realize that I care and that I do my best, but I'm not the only one. And <laughs> That's good to hear. And because of the corona situation, the award ceremony was online and you had to give a college. Can you tell me what it was about? Uh, well, I tried to pick a topic that was relevant for uh, Advanced Technology, the program that nominated me in the first place. And so I spoke about uh, signal analysis, in particular counting statistics. So imagine that you have a, a red light and you count the number of cars that go through this red light per hour. On average, you may have 100, but sometimes you'll have 90, sometimes you'll have 110. And you can tell something about the fluctuations around the average. Now, as an example, I use what we have back here, uh, a nice pond with a lot of fishes, and uh, I use the fishes as an example. If you look from above and you draw a square, how many fishes are in that square? You can learn something from studying, just counting the number of fishes as a function of time, for example. And do you have any dreams for the future? For teaching, right now, <laughs> uh, the, 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 my horizon sits at the edge of the end of the COVID crisis. And we'll see after that. Thank you, and I wish you all the best of success for the coming year. Oh, thank you very much.